Hello guys, so in this video I'll be reviewing the Cyanogen Mod 11 for the Redmi 2. As you can see this is the Redmi 2 and the Cyanogen Mod 11 for the Redmi 2 is already released and I've been using this ROM for 2 or 2 and a half days so and I have to say that the ROM is pretty good and the obvious question will be why did I shift to Cyanogen Mod 11 when I have MIUI 6 that's the official MIUI 6 on the Redmi 2 and the reason is the multitasking on the MIUI 6 with the Redmi 2 is not that good it's like okay -ish. when you switch between the apps like this it's not working perfectly fine it takes a second or two delay on the MIUI 6 that's why I had to shift to Cyanogen Mod 11 to see if the multitasking is good on the Cyanogen Mod 11 so and surprisingly enough the multitasking is far better than on the MIUI 6 and after a few software updates multitasking on the Redmi 2 can be made better but as of now the multitasking on the MIUI 6 is not that good and some of you guys like AOSP builds and may not like MIUI 6 or want to try Cyanogen mod on the Redmi 2 so here's your option and you can easily flash it flashing is very easy before getting into the flashing of ROM I'll give you my quick review and my quick impressions about the Cyanogen mod 11 on the Redmi 2 and let's start with the battery life and I have to say that the battery life is very good as you can see over here the screen on time was always more than 4 hours and 30 minutes and I will say that I was using the phone heavily so it's like very good screen on time on the Cyanogen Mod 11 and the Cyanogen Mod 11 built for the Redmi 2 is quite new so after few ROM updates the bugs which are present right now the bugs are like uh, if you put the phone on charging and if the charging is complete even after you remove the charger the LED over here keeps glowing it doesn't turn off so for that you have to reboot your phone so that's not a major issue there are no major issues like Wi-Fi not working or Bluetooth not working everything is working fine but there are few bugs here and there which can be managed easily I used the phone 2 days as my daily driver with Cyanogen Mod 11 and I did not face which will hinder the performance or which will hinder the productivity or which will make me think that why did I install Cyanogen Mod nothing like that the ROM is pretty stable for daily use and I would completely suggest you guys to use Cyanogen Mod 11 for the Redmi 2 and the performance is also very good uh, if I go into multitasking tray as you can see there are so many apps running in the background and even if I switch between apps it's pretty easy to use as you can see Clash of Clans let's switch to another application and as you can see there is no issue with that so let's see the music output so as you can see the music output is very good the only issue is that the camera quality is not as good as the camera quality on MIUI 6 so obviously we have to compensate somewhere if you want better multitasking you may not get the best camera so camera is okay it's not the best you can have let's click a photo and as you can see the photo click is very nice uh, I would say that it's as good as MIUI 6 but I would say that uh, in my long usage I found out that the camera was not up to the mark if uh, if new 6 camera was 100 percent then i would say that this camera is 75 to 85 percent of that so no worries about that because i do i'm not a professional cameraman so it's okay even if the camera is not working perfectly fine and there are tons of customization options that you can do i'll give a link of a video in the description below in which i showed you guys the features of sign mod 11 and what you can customize and whatnot so do check that out if you want to flash this ROM and now let's get to the installation procedure and all the files which I'll be using in this video will be linked in the description below so do not worry about the download links everything will be linked in the description below so to flash this ROM first of all you will need to have CWM recovery installed if you do not have CWM recovery installed do not worry just go in the description below I have a video guide over there and you can follow that guide and flash CWM recovery after that you need to boot into recovery mode to boot into recovery mode if you are on new assets simply go into updater app then go into options select reboot to recovery mode and simply hit ok now we will reboot into recovery mode so first thing I would suggest you guys to do is backup the current ROM so that if anything goes wrong then you can restore that backup later on and be on the safer side first thing you need to do is wipe data and factory reset select yes wipe all user data and as you can see one data wipe is complete now go and select wipe cache partition select wipe cache cache is also wiped now go into advanced and select wipe dalvik cache and select yes wipe dalvik cache now the dalvik cache is also wiped after that go back 
and to navigate up and down i am using volume keys to navigate up and down and to select click the power button now select install zip select choose zip from sd card that's the first option over here that is your internal storage if you have put both the zip files like rom zip and the gap zip in your external sd card then select second option which says sd card 1 for me it's in internal storage so select that then select 0 and now select the file of the rom as you can see this is the rom file select that and select yes install and now the rom zip will be installed so as you can see the rom installation has been completed now we need to install gaps so once again select choose zip from sd card select 0 and now select the gaps package and select install now this will install the gaps packages as you can see these are the pa gaps So now the gaps package is also installed. So simply go back and select reboot system now. And now we'll reboot into the Cyanogen Mod 11 specifically on the Redmi 2. So this is how you can install Cyanogen Mod 11 on the Redmi 2. And I would surely suggest you guys to use this ROM because it's purely stable for daily use. There are no major bugs, nothing like that. So and if you do not want the Mi A6, if you want to try something new, that's the AOSP build or Cyanogen Mod, then you can surely try this ROM. and the cyanogen mod 12 is out for the redmi 2 but it's not completely stable uh, the wifi doesn't work and data doesn't work so i i flashed this rom but i did not make a video because it's not that stable so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because many more videos on the redmi 2 are going to come real soon and my full review of the redmi 2 is surely on its way so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you have any doubts suggestions or queries then do let me know about them in the comment section below so thank you guys thank you for watching